In this demonstration, we're going to look at creating an SMTP send connector. So an Exchange Server 2013 computer requires a send connector to send any SMTP email and to send the email to any SMTP server on the internet or to any SMTP server in the same Exchange Server organization. And by default, no connectors are configured on a mailbox or client access server except for the implicit SMTP send connectors and these are created dynamically to communicate with all of the transport services in other sites. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to create an SMTP send connector for the internet. And we're going to do that through the Exchange Management Shell, just because we can. So we're going to do a new hyphen send connector, hyphen name, send internet, address space, specify the address space, star, so everywhere, and source transport servers in my case will just be lon hyphen mbx1. So as we can see, it's created our connector, specified our address space, and it is now enabled. So let's just go to the Exchange uh, Admin Center and just prove it has actually been created in the GUI as well. So as we can see, we have our send connector. So if we just highlight our send connector, let's just go for uh, edit the settings here. So what we've got here is we've got sent the internet. We can see that it's currently enabled. We're not proxying through any client access servers. Protocol logging uh, level at this point is none, but I could specify logging here. And I've also got my maximum send message size at this point here, 35 megabytes. On the delivery tab, so what we're seeing here, specify how to send the email through this connector. So we've got the MX record associated with the recipient domain, or uh, let's say, for example, I'm using somebody like iCritical. What I could do here is I could route all of the email messages through their smart host. And if we do go for the smart host, we can also specify as well the smart host authentication. If we just go to the scoping tab here. So what we can see on here, we can see our address space. So we've got the domain star, cost is one, and we've got this little option here, which a lot of people don't really notice here, is this scoped send connector. So what does this exactly mean? Well, if we do select this, the connector can only be used by hub servers in the same Active Directory site. If it's not selected, the connector can be used by all hub servers in the environment. And this option will only interest Exchange admins who manage large Exchange deployments spanning on multiple Active Directory sites, having multiple internet breakout points. So I'm not going to bother turning this on here. And we can also see down here we do have our source server. Now I could specify all of my mailbox servers sitting in my organization at this point. So what we'll do here is we'll just cancel this off. I haven't changed anything. So as you may have noticed there, one of the options we did have was to actually secure our send connector. So what we'll do here is we'll just um, we'll just go back to our Exchange Management Shell. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to create a new send connector called Secure Email to Contoso. And what we'll do is we'll secure that with our basic authentication. So what we'll do here, we'll just clear the screen. And then what we'll do is we'll just type in the command. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a new send connector. The name will be Secure Email to Contoso. The address space will be contoso.com. We're not going to use DNS routing. We are going to use authentication. We're going to use administrator and password, which is already set up in this little variable. Smart host will be 172.16.0.10. And then what we have down here as well is the smart host authentication will be basic authentication. So what we'll do at this point here, we'll just hit the enter key. And that has now created this send connector. So let's just go back to the Exchange Admin Center, do a quick refresh, and we have our secure email to Contoso. If we just edit the settings here, what we can see is we do have secure email to Contoso. Connector is enabled. Again, we don't have any protocol logging. On the delivery, we're going through a smart host, We've got the administrator username and password, which came through from the uh, credential object I had in place. And on the scoping here, we are using this for contoso.com.